Hey, what's up? Hope you're having a fantastic day and welcome back to another video. Now, today's video is a teaser from my brand new Logic Live Loops course. If you want to learn more about that, check out the link in the description down below. But I've just launched a course giving you a comprehensive guide on how to get started inside of Logic Live Loops. And right now I'm running a promo for the launch weekend. So I've dropped the price down from $34.99 to $24.99. So if you don't want to miss out on that promotion, definitely check out the link in the description down below because it will be ending tomorrow on Sunday at midnight. But thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoy it. Thank you for the support and I'll see you in the next one. One more thing that I want to share with you, which is the Logic Drummer. Now, this is one of my favorite features inside of Logic overall. When I'm writing songs, songwriting, all that sort of stuff, I love to boot in a Logic Drummer, program some real quick drums with the sort of like the drummer that just does their drums automatically and just start writing some riffs. But we can also utilize the Logic Drummer inside of Logic Live Loops. So this means we can utilize the fact that Logic can provide us with spontaneous drum beats that we can write to, but then we can also record our parts inside of the live loop grid to actually start creating songs on the fly. So let's create a Logic drummer patch. So I'm gonna click the little plus icon, head on over to drummer, and let's click the genre rock because you know, that's my genre, I like a little bit of rock. And it's asking to download some extra stuff, but you know, I'm not going to do that for today's tutorial. I've got enough samples on my computer already. So um, let's close out the uh, timeline view over here. and also close out the Apple loops because we don't need those anymore. So let's take a look at Kyle on our drummer track over here. So we've got Kyle booted in. Um, he's a modern rock drummer, you know, it gives us a profile. You can switch him out for Logan or whatever for different styles, but we're happy with Kyle for now. So you can see here, Unlike on the previous cells, when I hover over the mouse, you can see these are just gray cells. They're not sort of really offering me anything to do. However, on the drummer cell, you can see it offers me this little yellow plus icon. Now this is going to allow me to add a drummer region. Now inside a drummer region, it's basically going to provide us with a load of preset drum beats that we can choose between. I'll show you what I mean. So I'll add this in. You can see it looks pretty similar to our pattern cell. Um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to double click on it and you can see this is the drummer view. So the drummer view allows us to basically sort of say, I want this style of drum beat, so I want it to be complicated, but I don't want it to be too loud. So I want it to be sort of medium, and then we can choose the sort of high hi-hat intensity or the kick snare pattern intensity over here. So it allows us to create really quick drum loops just in a few sliders. Really awesome for getting ideas down on the fly fast. So if we just play Kyle over here, let's see what he's got for us. We'll, um, we'll stop the other loops because that's it. You know, we don't want to ru ruin Kyle's performance over here. We came to listen to Kyle. So if we try and close out, we'll find which ones are playing. So we've got that one playing there. And we've got those ones. So we've stopped them now. So this is what Kyle has brought to the table. Let's turn him up. Now inside of the drummer, obviously we can change Kyle's drum patterns on the fly. You can see he's got a little bit louder now. We can make his hi-hat pattern more complex. So he's playing like sort of 16th notes. And we can even make his uh, drum pattern a bit more complicated. So he's adding more kick fills in if you listen out carefully. So let's go back to uh, where he kind of was. Make him less complicated so he's not too messy. And we can actually add in some more drummer regions. So we'll right click and click a drummer cell. This time you can see we have two separate options here now. So we can maybe change the sort of genre beat preset over here. And now we can switch between the two. So this could be more of our chorus section with him playing on the ride, you know, to sort of elevate the track. And now we can go back to our verse. And you can see we can use these with our loops that we have on our live loops grid. So what we have just learned there are the variety of different ways we can go about creating cells inside of the Logic Live Loops grid. We can import Apple Loops, we can record audio in live, either audio or MIDI by clicking record on the cell and record arm in the track. And we can even use the Logic Drummer inside of the Live Loops to basically access infinite 
presets on the fly that we can manipulate while we perform with various different drummer profiles. So if you want to learn more about Logic Live Loops, definitely check out the link in the description down below. And also don't forget, right now it is on offer from $34.99 down to $24.99. So definitely dive in while that promotion is still active. But as always, thank you so much for watching me here on YouTube and also supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next one.